I made a website for Severance last week, so let's take a look behind the scenes at how I did it. First thing I did was I started with one of our free templates, Folio. I knew that the design of Folio would go really well with the high tech and low tech kind of vibe that Severance has. So I went over here into the app, chose this one to start with, and then the first thing I did was go over here to the about page to grab some of these canvases. So the very first canvases I have are these opening questions. The beginning of severance is intentionally very confusing. And so I knew that I wanted kind of the beginning of the website to also be intentionally confusing. So I disregarded some normal website norms and didn't even have a menu or anything to really direct you. All you're left with is scrolling through these questions, which make little to no sense, especially if you haven't seen the show. And those questions were grabbed from this portion of the Folio website. So over here in the About page, it has these sliding canvases for step one, step two, and step three. The way that the design was initially launched was for these steps to be kind of stacked on top of each other. But what I decided to do was have them cover each other because each question sort of supersedes the one before. So once I pulled the canvases over, the first thing that I had to do was go over to adjust the offset value right over here. I kept them as top on scroll and I kept their height relatively the same as the canvases I pulled over from Folio. The next canvas is this canvas that is set to overlap the previous question canvases. And this one was also taken from Folio and it was this Tools I Love canvas. So what I did was just change the font, delete everything that I didn't need, but I did decide to keep the little computer icon because I thought it fit really well. All it needed was a little smiley winky face. This next canvas has a video background set to loop, and then as a transition in between the canvas before it, I just set some shapes to move back and forth to reveal it. The next canvas here is some sliding text that moves very slowly from right to left. And that one I took from this site, Cartera. It's another free show it template. It's just this short canvas, not super tall. I think it's only um, 85 pixels tall. It's set to transition sliding from left for 286 seconds. But even though that's a relatively simple canvas to make, sometimes it's easier if you know what's already in a free template to just go in and grab it. This next canvas here is another example of one that I grabbed from another template. And I actually didn't even rename this canvas. As you can see, it still says testimonials, which obviously this is not a testimonial, but I'll show you where I grabbed it from. This is another free template called Fortitude, and this is intended to be for personal training, but one thing that's great is that if you like the layout of a template, you can make so many changes with just changing the content and the fonts. So this was set to be the testimonial section of the Fortitude template. As you can see, there's a background here that stays static, and then these testimonials kind of float above it. So I knew I wanted to do that effect for this transition canvas. So what I did was I just imported both from Fortitude, changed the background image to this one, and then deleted the text boxes and replaced them with these PNGs, which, as you can see, looks like this. So interesting layered effect. And again, it just works really easily to have all of the settings already in there from another canvas to just replace the content. Okay, this next one is another canvas from Folio. So this was my initial template and I'll show you where I grabbed it from. I grabbed these from the services page. As you can see, it already has the click action set up to open and close these folders, which I just thought was really cute to have these little pixel icons that perfectly open and close. So I grabbed those over, changed the font to be more uniform, and then created them to be these employee bios. This next one was just kind of just for fun. It was a slideshow, some different scenes from the show. And I grabbed this one from a different free template, Relentless. And when I imported it in, it gives you the option of choosing to use a font that's already in your template. And so I chose this one from Relentless. It already has the sliding text. The only thing that changed was I got rid of those lines because those didn't really go with my Look, and then I decided to stagger the layers so that some of the text overlaid over the gallery images. This next canvas 
super simple. It's just an image set to be parallax to kind of work as a transition. This next one is the embedded YouTube from the trailer. And one thing that's nice is that when you embed a YouTube video, you don't have to have all of the YouTube titles and icons and stuff. It can work really seamlessly kind of in the background. This next canvas, uh, I made this one from scratch, and this one is just taking an image of each person, setting the opacity to be a little bit lower, adding another shape in the iconic blue to act as the hover color, and then when you click on each one of these, it takes you to a different canvas view that brings up a different kind of iconic quote from each character. Since I have eight characters in here, then there's eight different canvas views that each correspond to these click actions. This next canvas here, this is kind of showing um, a way to link to each individual episode since this is about season one. And I took this canvas from Fortitude also, but I believe this is from the services page. Yes, so I took this one where it says explore services. It already has the three canvas views here and I just changed it to have nine canvas views. So here, as you can see, it has views one through nine and each one corresponds to one of the episodes. It actually worked out really well that there was nine episodes. It made my heart happy that it could just be perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> okay, the last one, this one's kind of interesting because I did experiment a little bit with adding some code. Thankfully, Northfolk already had all the code and all I had to do was copy it in. It was super easy. Uh, I am not an expert in this particular thing, but if you want to see what it looks like, here is the custom code element. Uh, I just followed their tutorial. The whole tutorial was like less than 10 minutes. You can kind of see here how you add which fonts you want to use. And then the countdown date is here. So that's pretty easy. You just put in the date and time that you want and it'll automatically do everything else. So that's pretty much all I had to do. Depending on your font size, you might have to fiddle with the font size a little bit. I did because this uh, font I had was kind of large. And that's it. I had so much fun building the Severance fan site. I think it really showed a lot of possibilities with what you can do, even if you're just using free templates. Even if one template doesn't have everything that you need, just the possibilities of being able to drag a different about page, a different services page, whatever it may be, hopefully that gave you a little bit of inspiration on how you can do that. So what TV show shall I do next?